The Whitworth Hall, with seating for over a thousand, is used for large gatherings and university ceremonials, such as the conferment of degrees. The degree ceremony opens with a procession, led by two students carrying wands with lictors badges. These badges were presented to the university in 1926 by Thomas Brown and Sons. The serpent is the crest of the Duke of Devonshire, the first president of Owens College. The rising sun is pure symbolism for growing enlightenment, leading to the Latin inscription Arduus ad solem, striving to the sun. An alternative northern translation might be you don't get out for now. The Latin inscription on the other badge is Honestas Optima Politia. Honesty is the best policy. The group following the leaders consists of representatives from the Committee of Convocation, teaching and administrative staff of the university, and heads of halls of residence. Convocation is the body of university graduates and current academic staff. A second group, led by student stewards carrying wands, follows with representatives from court, the supreme governing body of the university, and senate, the academic body responsible for exams, teaching and research. Also in this group are the academics who will present the graduands for their awards. Next in the procession comes a student bearing the mace, which is made of solid silver. The main body of the head is decorated in applied gold with the arms of the university. Of the former Victoria University, Owens College Manchester, University College Liverpool and Yorkshire College Leeds. And the city of Manchester. Busy bees, a feature of the crest of the Manchester City Arms and the double rows representing the Union of Lancaster and York are also applied in gold. The serpent from the Duke of Devonshire's arms completes Mr Leslie Durbin's design of the mace. The mace bearer leads the vice-chancellor, or one of the pro-vice-chancellors, who is the presiding officer of the ceremony and who will present the degrees on behalf of the university. The procession is completed by the registrar, or his representative. All the students taking part in the procession are volunteers from the university student body. The ceremony closes with the Latin quotation Salva sit universitas, nostra mancuniensis, hoc precantis consugamus, which translates to, long live our University of Manchester, so saying, let us stand. Ladies and gentlemen, 
it gives me very great pleasure on behalf of the university to welcome you to this ceremony for the conferment of degrees. First, I'd like to congratulate all the graduands who will be receiving their degrees today. You should be justifiably proud of what you've achieved. Our entry standards are amongst the highest in the country, and our degrees are highly regarded throughout the world. Thus, to have lasted the course, you've demonstrated commitment and hard work. Notwithstanding your own efforts, I'm sure that you all recognize the importance of the support and encouragement that you received from your families and friends. We in the university particularly welcome the opportunity which is provided by these degree congregations to share with your parents, partners and friends our pride in your success and to show them our appreciation for their contributions towards that success. A student's life is not always easy particularly in a university like Manchester where standards are high. And I'm sure that many of the graduands will have had cause during their courses to be grateful to your families and friends for the help they provided. The importance of education has been recognized through the ages. It was Diogenes who stated that the foundation of every state is the education of its youth. This is more than ever true today. Whatever your subject, you've received an education, an education which should have trained you to think about problems critically, analytically, and with an open mind, and to respect the truth, even when the consequences of doing so are uncomfortable. As most of you are aware, the University of Manchester has been particularly strong in science for many years. Indeed, between 1906 and 1993, 16 scientists connected with the university were awarded Nobel Prizes, including Lord Rutherford, who received his prize for, and I quote, investigations into the disintegration of elements and the chemistry of radioactive substances. In other words, he split the atom. This year, the Nobel Prize for Chemistry was awarded to Professor Michael Smith, for reprogramming the genetic code used in synthetic DNA. Michael Swift Smith graduated from Manchester in 1953 with a BSc in chemistry. On a different level, and as someone interested in fungi, I recommend that you visit the Manchester Museum next door to this hall, where an exhibition of Beatrix Potter's watercolors of lichens and fungi is being displayed. Beatrix Potter was the niece of Sir Henry Roscoe, a professor of chemistry in Manchester. And besides creating Peter Rabbit, Beatrix Potter was a distinguished Victorian naturalist in her own right, and made a particular study of the germination of fungal spores. The university is being asked to respond to new challenges and opportunities. As you know, the government would like to see the number of 18-year-olds going to universities increase to one in three of the age group. The university welcomes this challenge and has increased its undergraduate numbers by over 1,000 during the last two years. However, in recent weeks, government has instructed universities to admit 3.5% fewer students in 1994-95 than in the current year. Inevitably, this will mean that entry to university will become tougher next October, particularly in the humanities. The university is also concerned that the government feels unable to find the funds which are necessary for us to continue to do the job in the way we would wish. In particular, we are worried about student staff ratios in many university subjects, which are now at the level currently found in our secondary schools. The university recruits students from all over the world. Indeed, our overseas student population of 2,000 is drawn from over 100 countries, from Algeria to Zimbabwe. The presence of these overseas students greatly enriches the university and enables students to meet and establish friendships with fellow students from many different countries. I'm sure 
that some of the friendships you have formed during your time in Manchester will last a lifetime. In graduating today, you become part of an international fellowship of scholars in your own subject, a fellowship in which the pursuit of knowledge is what matters, and in which differences of race, gender, and politics are unimportant. Furthermore, you will become a member of another international fellowship, Convocation, the body of our graduates which exists to keep us in touch with one another and which links you to those who have preceded you and to those who will follow. I hope that you will keep in touch with us by playing a part in it. I referred earlier to the many problems faced in the world today. As H.G. Wells wrote, human history becomes more and more a race between education and catastrophe. By completing your course, you've taken a further step down the road of education. You all have a part to play, ensuring that the problems posed by social injustice and inequality, by economic and political uncertainty, and by new technology do not result in catastrophe. I have every confidence that you will not fail us. Once again, my colleagues and I wish each of you our warmest congratulations and our very best wishes. And I think it's appropriate at this time of the year, and dressed as I am in this particular color, to wish you all a happy Christmas and a very prosperous new year. Mr. Pro Vice Chancellor. On behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Science, Anthony John Stewart. Many congratulations, well done. Thank you. What was the subject? Paleontology. Oh, well done. <laughs> Mr. Vice-Chancellor, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Abdul Adiz Hafez Al-Abdullah. Many congratulations, well done. Stephen Derrick Ball. Many congratulations, well done. Thank you. Eva Britt Elliott. Congratulations, well Elaine Louise Graham. Andre Korotayev. Amini Rahman Mir. Congratulations, well done. Elaine Muhan. Michael Daffith Newell. Thank you. Stephen Gary Perrin. Leonard Eric Scales. Mary Christine Wright. Susan Hillary Zlosnik. Mr. Pro Vice Chancellor, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, Safar Saad Saad Al Ghamdi. Well Fernando Manuel Augusto da Silva. Congratulations, well done. 
Jonathan Nicholas Binney. Ross Stewart Blundell. Andrew William Brooks. Ola Elizabeth Cassidy. Andrew Howard Dando. Rasul Dinavad. Richard Livesey Evans. Rosemary Helen Fernley. Mark Charles Gallagher. Jeffrey Francis Green. Michael Hamilton. Karen Ann Hayes. Jerry Oliver Ishmael. Syed Shahid Hussein Jaffrey. Will Rock Young. Philip Anthony Knight. Pauline Alice Lane. Fan Lin. Rajbir Singh Man. Andrew Ma. <laughs> Stephen Patrick Myla. <laughs> Salvador Mir. <laughs> Hazel June Norman. Clifford James Pritchard. Sven Glyn Roden. Otto Sensberg. Rosalind Faye Starkey. Gillian Ann Kate Stott. <laughs> David Wen Long Sung. <laughs> Robin John Taylor. <laughs> Tamirat Tesfamariam. Margaret Joyce Tyson. <laughs> Ruab Odin. <laughs> David John Unet. Elizabeth Maria Ann Vallely. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Hong Wen Wang. Susan Weisberger. Michael Gerard West. Stephen Paul Wilson. Peter Keith Woodward. Kamran Zamarian. Mr. Pro Vice Chancellor, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Master of Arts in the Faculty of Arts with distinction, Adam Noel Ledgeway. Matthew Charles Nylon. Nigel Craig Parsons. And for the degree of Master of Arts, Ruth Barnett. Dahlia Bentley. Janice Ruth Berman. Christopher Brearley. Jonathan Robert Hellier. Mark Ian Jones. Rachel Marks. Howard Shilton. Adam Gareth Turner. Mary Sheila Whitehead. And for the degree of Master of Landscape Design, Justina Kenlis Hartland Swan. <laughs> Philip Andrew Jaffer. <laughs> Jonathan Christopher King. Alison June Aldershaw. And for the degree of Master of Arts in Landscape Management with distinction, Colin Madison. And for the degree of Master of Arts in Landscape Management, Peter Richard Leeson. And for the degree of Master of Language, Elizabeth Jean Armstrong. And for the degree of Master of Linguistics, Arif Mahmoud Minhas. Rachel Louise Mullen. Sheikha Roy. Barbara Buchan Tanner. Marion Tota.
Thank you, Thank you. And for the degree of Master of Philosophy in the Faculty of Arts, Daniel Asquith. Thank you, Thank you very much. Julian Charles Clark. Judith Lith Edwards. Joanna Francis. Andrew John Hussey. Jonathan David Sly. Tom Malcolm Thompson. Margaret Worthington. And for the degree of Master of Town Planning, Olawale Olawatosin Duile. Matthew Richard Southgate. Many congratulations. Thank you very much. And for the degree of Master of Arts in Theology, Mary Gwendolyn Dove. Many congratulations. Well done. Gerard Anthony McRoy. Many congratulations. Well done. Thank you very much. And for the degree of Master of Music, Christopher Andrew Beardsley. Many congratulations, well done. Stephen Gary Mayer. Many congratulations, well done. Master of Laws with distinction, Adrian James Bourne. Many congratulations, well done. And for the degree of Master of Laws, Anas Ali Faraj. Many congratulations, well done. Michael William Hudson. John Ritchie MacDonald Irvin. Many congratulations, well done. Caroline Sarah Elizabeth Masters. Many congratulations, well done. Joseph Seaman. Many congratulations, well done. Mr. Provost Chancellor, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I have presented to you for the degree of Master of Science, Naeem Atta. And a congratulations, well done. Iqbal Singh Baines. And a congratulations, well done. Thomas Sebastian Baker. Many congratulations, well done. Elaine Ann Ball. Many congratulations, well done. Taha Ashia. Many congratulations, well done. Mark Anthony Brookfield. Many congratulations, well done. Diane Joan Buxton. <laughs> Janet Sok Un Chan. <laughs> 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 
Peter Matthew Kultas. Peter Matthew Kultas. Peter Matthew Kultas. Stuart Bradley Downhill. Philip Brian Endicott. John Anthony Grogan. David John Hancock. Bernard Hendrick Quirk. Akiba Asher Hoffman. Ian Robert Holland. Stuart Hutchison. Carol Suzanne Genion. <laughs> Mohammed Jafar Kamani. <laughs> Atlak Ahmed Khan. Mashuda Koti. <laughs> Sang Seon Kim. <laughs> Michael John King. <laughs> John Chrysostom Kiaz. Melinda Larko. Why Lam Lo? <laughs> Grant McIntosh. Nathaniel Oliver John Malcolm. <laughs> Philip Lars Manning. <laughs> Buteri Sri Melo Magat Yusuf. <laughs> Ivan Ronald Moore. <laughs> Andrew Jason Murphy. <laughs> Malcolm Francis Murphy. <laughs> Roger Michael Phillips. Astawi Prasit Silk. John Michael Riddick. Johannes Andreas Oles Sherman. Anekris Suarts. Andrew David Smith. Alan Stewart. Thank you. 
Eridani Wijayanti Sudiono. Thank you, Dr. Stephen Joseph Tandy. Afiwat Tirawut Gulrag. Thank you, Dr. Neil Graham Turton. <laughs> Joanna Catherine Weeks. Vice-Chancellor, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Bachelor of Divinity with honours, Graham John Hoslett. And for the degree of Bachelor of Linguistics, Natasha Johanna Christina de Jong. And for the degree of Bachelor of Town and Country Planning, Claire Davis. Congratulations, well done. And for the degree of Bachelor of Arts in Combined Studies with Honours, Carolyn Hazel Ball. Congratulations, well done. Mr. Pro Vice Chancellor, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Bachelor of Engineering in Civil Engineering, Paul Thomas Alsop. And for the Bachelor of Engineering in Structural Engineering with Architecture, Bachelor of Science, in environmental biology, Imogen Kate Mawson. Congratulations, well done. Lady first, is it? <laughs> and for the degree of Bachelor of Science in History of Medicine, Jonathan Richard Plummer. Congratulations, well done. Thanks. Vice-Chancellor, on behalf of the Senate of the University, I present to you for the degree of Bachelor of Laws with Honours, Paul John Green. Congratulations, well done. How did that happen? I don't know. <laughs> well, well, well done. Salva sit universitas nostra mancuniensis, hoc precantis consugamus. So now you're leaving the university and going out into the world. All of us in the university wish you the very best of luck. We are sure that you'll do really well. When you graduate, as you've just done, you automatically join a body of graduates called Convocation. Through Convocation and through the programme of events organised by the alumni officer, you'll be able to keep in touch with us and, we hope, share with us news of your progress. From time to time, the university publishes Manchester Graduate, which will tell you what's happening within the university, what's new, what's going on, how we're changing, how we're keeping up with the times, and how some of your contemporaries are faring. Now more than ever, one of the most important parts of the university consists of its graduates, taking forward the name of the university 
along with their own achievements in every country of the world. Do keep in touch with your colleagues and your teachers, with your hall or with your department. We value that link and we hope you will too. And now the world awaits you. We wish you every success and happiness in the years ahead.